Hello, today we'll be exploring an important topic, performing arithmetic operations on polynomials. We'll cover the fundamental concepts, work through some examples, and show you how these ideas apply to real-world problems. So, let's dive in. A polynomial is a mathematical expression made up of terms, each consisting of a variable raised to a whole number power and multiplied by a coefficient. Arithmetic operations on polynomials involve addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Let's go over each of these operations. To add two polynomials, simply combine like terms by adding their coefficients. To subtract one polynomial from another, change the sign of the terms in the second polynomial and then combine like terms. To multiply two polynomials, use the distributive property to multiply each term in the first polynomial by each term in the second polynomial, and then combine like terms. Now let's take a moment and analyze division. Division of polynomials can be performed using long division or synthetic division methods. The result is either a polynomial quotient or a quotient with a remainder. For example, we have the following polynomials. Let's go through the process of solving x cubed minus 6x squared plus 11x minus 6 divided by x minus 2 using long division. Long division for polynomials follows a similar process to long division for numbers. First, set up the long division problem. Then, divide the first term of the dividend x cubed by the first term of the divisor x. Place the result x squared above the corresponding term in the dividend. Multiply the divisor x minus 2 by the result x squared and write it below the dividend. Then, subtract the result from the dividend. Repeat the process, divide the first term of the new dividend, negative 4x squared by the first term of the divisor, x. Place the result, negative 4x above the corresponding term in the dividend. Multiply the divisor x minus 2 by the result negative 4x, and write it below the new dividend. Then, subtract the result from the new dividend. Repeat the process one more time, divide the first term of the new dividend 3x by the first term of the divisor x. Place the result 3 above the corresponding term in the dividend. Multiply the divisor x minus 2 by the result 3 and write it below the new dividend. Then, subtract the result from the new dividend. The result of the division is the quotient x squared minus 4x plus 3 with no remainder. So, x cubed minus 6x squared plus 11x minus 6, divided by x minus 2 is equals to x squared minus 4x, plus 3. Also performing arithmetic operations on polynomials help us solve real-world problems. In economics, polynomials can be used to model supply and demand curves, profit functions, and production costs. In physics, polynomials are used to model the motion of objects under various forces, such as gravity or air resistance. In engineering, where engineers often use polynomials to model the behavior of materials and structures, such as the stress distribution in beams, the deformation of materials under load, and the efficiency of mechanical systems. And in environmental science, polynomials can be used to model the growth of populations, the spread of diseases, or the distribution of pollutants in the environment. So, there you have it. Performing arithmetic operations on polynomials is an essential skill in mathematics, with applications across various fields and industries. By mastering these concepts, you'll be better prepared to tackle challenges in your daily life and future career. Keep practicing, and remember, math is everywhere.